So the other day I was reliably informed that David Sharat, otherwise known as Spinosaurus Kin, runs a parody account of me, which is why I chose to unfollow him. <laughs> you got me. Shut it down, the Goyim no. Not really the appropriate response, is it, David? Not really what you should do once you've been caught being a duplicitous piece of shit. I mean, I wouldn't do that. I would understand what I had done and the effect it would have on someone else, and I would realise that it was me who had been a tremendous piece of shit. I mean, I wouldn't do that to someone I don't like. Do you understand? I, I had a big Twitter argument with Movie Bob a few years back, and he did exactly what you did. After losing the argument, he went and created a parody account of me and then started tweeting at me persistently. I didn't care because it was Movie Bob. And when he was caught, he just kind of went, well, well, uh, 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 just like you did. It's, do you want to be the moral equivalent of Movie Pop? <laughs> just, <laughs> you understand? The idea of doing this to someone I'm on friendly terms with is unbelievable. I mean, I would never do such a thing. And if for some reason I did do such a thing, when caught... The last thing I would do is be making jokes. To be honest with you, I don't think I'd show my face for quite some time because I would feel humiliated that my own actions had been revealed to be so deceptive. It's almost unbelievable that you don't understand exactly how wrong you are. So I think I... maybe I need to explain myself a little. No, you need to apologise. You need to close the account or... <laughs> I'm not going to ever talk to you again. Simple as that. And I don't see why I would. And I don't see why anyone would. Why would anyone want to deal with you after knowing exactly the kind of person you are? Why would that? And you, you can't even bring yourself to apologise. This is, this is a disgrace. You are a disgrace. I don't know why you think this is going to win you any points. This is going to explain anything people will be on your side. The only people who are going to be on your side are the people who hate me. And they will only be on your side because it was me. A little bit. So, I was just pissing about in a hangout with um, Reese from Nightmare Fuel, and we came up with this idea uh, with uh, the idea for the parody account. We thought, oh, that's that's a great idea for a parody account. And so I made it. I was just like, yep, let's, I'm just gonna make it for the fuck for the hell of it. And as one does to one's friends, for some reason. I mean, well, who knows? You know, why Why else would you do that? I mean, <laughs> just, I just, so I just decided to go behind this person's back, even though to his face I will be polite and civil and, you know, I'll come on his live streams and I'll talk to him and I'll be friendly with him. But for some reason, behind his back, I need to start sending him insults, sending him nasty messages, mocking him openly. In tw on Twitter, Mo doing exactly what the worst of the SJWs do. Take a few seconds of content out of context and then present it as if this is an isolated statement. You did all that. And you're sat here saying, well, you know, it was just a thing. Just, it was just a thing. It was no, no big deal. To you, it isn't a big deal. To me, it is a very big deal. I would expect better behaviour from anyone, even even Kevin Logan, I would expect better behaviour from. And then I put out a couple tweets and started pissing about on that account, you know, parodying certain views. of Rather than addressing me directly. Or is it because every time you address me directly I explain the views and you can't refute that, and then you come back to arguing from your emotional tribal position? Because that is, all, honestly, almost everything that we've ever said over disagreements. I don't like this. Okay, I don't really care that you don't like it. Well, there we go. Sargon. And as the account started to um, gain steam and pick up... And, and who was it picking up with? You know who it was picking up with. I know who it was picking up with. You know who you were cozying up to with. And... Everyone will now know why Kraut and T despises you. Why Kraut and T despises the very people who will dox people, harass people, <laughs> threaten people, and then lie about what they do. 
I'm not surprised you fit in so well with them. And, you know, get somewhat more popular. Um, I realised one thing about the account was that people didn't know I was Spino. And this was interesting. Because now people weren't bringing my personal life and all of the personal attacks into stuff. And you know what? This is why... As much as I am um, still critical of the way that um, certain YouTubers have uh, gone about the stuff with Candid, I can actually understand why they liked the um, the social media app, and why they actually liked uh, engaging with people on it, because people didn't know it was them. And I'm sure that they deal with um, people speculating about their personal lives a lot. From what I can tell, yeah, they, they do. Um, and so, maybe as someone who isn't constantly in the spotlight, or someone who hasn't spent time out of the spotlight as just a nobody, I think it's interesting just to see how people change their responses to you when they don't know it's you. And, in all honesty, it was refreshing that people weren't continually screeching about some shit I'd said or some shit I hadn't said, and I think the comedic nature of the account made it hard to, you know, get really, really angry at because... If you experience this with 11,000 subscribers, imagine how much I experience it. Just take your time. Think, hmm, I get annoyed when people take me out of context or misquote something or, or just attempt to have numerous gotcha moments when I'm trying to just discuss something else. How much, how much must I get that? And then you decided that what you would do is secretly go and do exactly the thing you hate to me. Do I even need to explain why I have such a low opinion of you? Is it not self-evident why that is a disgraceful thing to do? Because it would just backfire. So it was a breath of fresh air to shit post on something like that. And is it shit posting, or is it um, deliberately attacking me because you don't share certain views of mine? Sounds like it is. And because I was less afraid of, you know, burning bridges with friends. Because for some reason, if I criticise a friend publicly, they start getting pissy with me. Do you honestly think gotcha moments are criticism? But yeah, you knew. You knew that if you started saying these things to me, that you would be burning bridges. And like the coward you are, you didn't have the balls to do it. Um, you know what? It was fun. Oh, I'm glad. I'm very glad that you had fun at my expense with the SJWs who hate me. I'm very glad. I mean, the, the very same sorts of people who will, let me see, go on an, uh, an email writing campaign to Thunderfoot's employer to try and get him fired because they disagree with his politics. The very same people who will mock the death of his father because they don't agree with his politics. You having fun with them. I'm glad. I'm glad that you are having fun at my expense, David. It wasn't being made personal. People were actually addressing the arguments that... You are not making any arguments, and it was personal. Fucking hell, you selfish little brat, for disrespecting me as you have done. I'm no stranger to being disrespected, but I do not associate with these people, because I have self-respect. If you don't understand why what you did is unconscionable i mean i would i would not do that to one of my enemies let alone someone who i was on good terms with and the fact that you did it and enjoyed it is just i mean i i, I don't even know if i can adequately explain how low i think that is i mean i i have so little respect for you that i i don't even know how to articulate it that the account was making, I even though this account was making them in a really sarcastic and comedic manner. You're not making any arguments, and I, I don't ever recall you 
making an argument towards anything that I've actually said in sense, you know, like in a video. I mean, you, you seem to be taking exception to offhand comments that I've said in live streams. And instead of addressing them with me, or even listening to why I said them, you seem to be doubling down on what you have done. And I find what you've done absolutely indefensible. It was bizarre, and I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you really enjoyed it. I'm really glad. And I hope you're really enjoying this. I tell you what, who, do you know something? I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying doing this at all. This is probably worst case scenario. Because when you put your trust in someone, and you talk to them, and you're on good terms with them, and you think, right, I can, I can respect this person because they will respect me back. To have that respect broken, and to have that trust violated, is rather alarming. It makes me concerned about my own ability to make character judgments. And I guess that's probably going to change now that people are aware that I run hard on for a sad. So I'm not really interested in people who will speak to your face and then speak again behind your back. No, it was a, uh... Are you joking? Are you fucking joking? Is this another vaunted spino hard on of a sad shitpost? Are you honestly going to tell me that you were not speaking behind my back when you were concealing your identity? Public account, tweeting publicly, sometimes at you. I'm doing a bad job of this whole, um, going behind your back sort of thing, you know. You are unbelievable. Running around in front of your face. You are unbelievable. In a suit that looks like you, and saying, Hey, <laughs> look at me, and how silly I'm being. No, how vindictive and mean you are being. On purpose. To gain the favour of my enemies. Because I didn't agree with your tribalism. Unbelievable. Just, I, I'm honestly in awe. I didn't realise that people like this existed. I mean, even even my enemies aren't like you. And you've gone and cavorted with the worst of them. <laughs> it's incredible. It's, it's not... Uh, stealth level novice. No. Totally deceptive. Totally. And I didn't know who was running the account. So you were, as far as I could tell, not related to it. Why would I think you were? shall we say. And it's not exactly like I was privately contacting friends and saying, don't associate with this person. I never did that. I've said I won't associate with people because I won't. Like, uh, the aforementioned reliable source you mentioned The aforementioned reliable source can't stand your behaviour either. They won't. Un they don't need me to tell them to not to associate with you. They've made that decision on their own. Was um saying was happening with me. Yes, I won't be associating with you because you are atrocious. You're not trustworthy. In fact. We know that you are not trustworthy. In fact, you seem to be deliberately deceiving people for your own pleasure and amusement at my expense. And you, are, you appear to be trying to play the victim and try to claw back some kind of moral high ground. I think you should quit while you're this far behind. And, you know, certain people were contacting friends of mine and saying, don't be friends with Spino, don't associate with Spino. I don't care what other people do. I do not care. I choose to associate with individuals as I see fit. Normally, I do it based on their own sense of personal honour. As in, can I trust this person to treat me in the same manner in which I will treat them? 
And if I find that trust is broken, I disassociate. You complain about Stefan Molyneux and Paul Joseph Watson, but they've never done anything to me. They just hold views I disagree with. And to address the, well, they're not moderates, well, I was delineating between them and the 1488 white genocide, Jews control everything types. I don't know if this information is actually true, because I only have their word for it. But it would be really, really dodgy if that was actually happening. If I don't care. And I don't think you're in any position to talk to anyone about things that are dodgy. This schoolyard bullshit was actually occurring within the skeptic community. I don't think you're in any position to start criticising people for doing schoolyard bullshit either. I mean, uh, like, people constantly attack me for my age because I'm 19. No, it's not because you're 19. It's because you act like an immature fool. I mean, I'm sure that later on in this video you will take exception to me saying that I am older than you and therefore wiser than you, but unfortunately this is a fact. And I can see it through your actions and through your responses and through the fact that mine aren't the same. But when I was your age, I wasn't particularly dissimilar. And I'm telling you, as you grow older, as you grow wiser, you will realise that you were acting like a prick. And I'm going up against people like twice my age, but they're all acting half it. And Spino takes four seconds, five seconds, of me quoting a BuzzFeed article where they are talking about the alternative media. And yes, I called myself an alternative news source because that is what I do. In much the same way as what the Young Turks do. In much the same way as Stephen Crowder. Or even John Oliver. Or someone like this. So, yes, and you also clarified on what you mean by news source. Thank you. Was that so hard? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? That's all it had to be, was... that. I, I... Shut up, you disingenuous fuck. You know what you did. Everyone knows what you were trying to do. You know. Don't fucking pretend like you don't. Maybe your problem with reading into what I'm saying and trying to find my ulterior motive is because there's nothing to read into. Liar. Why did you put actually in it? It's obviously a rhetorical question you were asking in an attempt to try and make it look like I was speaking above my station. Are you going to pretend that that wasn't the case? And there is no ulterior motive. Maybe I was just genuinely interested in how you view your channel and how you present yourself. Maybe you weren't. And if I had to decide, I would suggest that you had an ulterior motive, given that you've had plenty of ulterior motives that you have spoken about in this video, and you don't seem to be a trustworthy sort at all. I get mentioned constantly in articles after articles after articles, I mean literally calling me out by name, by my face, as if I am something. And I pointed out in that video that the people we are talking about write articles about us because they think we are a threat to them. Yes. If Then what was the problem? Why are you doing any of this?